Hello there. Today I am at the Mayfield Civil War Fort in Manassas, Virginia. Um, this is a place I have never been to. And actually, when I was growing up here, this place was buried under the woods. Um, it was not even visible. If you look back there behind me, you can see uh, what appears to be the, the cannon area where they probably had a barracks and the cannons were surrounding it uh, for protection. But this is kind of neat in that I didn't really know this place was here until I started looking at maps today. Uh, and I was looking for the Mayfield Cemetery. Uh, and believe it or not, I found the Mayfield Civil War Fort, or at least the remains of it anyway. But what's neat is that I came looking for a cemetery, wasn't sure I was going to find it. I did find this place right here, uh, but I have also found the cemetery. And we're going to see that in just a moment. So this looks like what can be the Mayfield Civil War Cemetery. I'm not sure if this is a family cemetery or a Civil War soldier, soldier's graves. I am not sure yet. We're going to go in here and see what we can see. Um, obviously some broken gravestones here. Let's see what this one says. Louisa Smith, the wife of T.H., that looks like it might be Squire, died R. 26, 1913, probably March, most likely, or April, uh, age 58 years, and then a whole bunch of small script down there at the bottom that I can't read from here. Um, looks like it's very worn but let's take a walk around this place I think I see an open a gate over there that we can walk through interesting we got sticks propping up some of the stones in here probably in anticipation of some restoration work quite possibly they did that before things actually broke, like that one did right there. All right, let's see if this gate is open. We can go inside. It is open, excellent. All right. So can I read this at all? I'm gonna try to read that. I'm not sure I can. Gone home, Virginia Huey, died November 6, 1887, age 62 years. That one says John Huey, but I cannot read much of anything else on it. This one looks like Mary Huey. That stone has obviously been broken off and set down in the ground there. This one has a Soldiers of the American Revolution on it, uh, a badge on it, but can't read anything on that. It is very, very smooth, very worn. This one broken off, nothing I can see visible there. Same thing here, very, very smooth, very warm. Oh, no, I don't want to pick that up. Let's see here. Over here we've got a footstone that says JFN. Gone home, Janet, is that Jan or J Janet or Jane? That looks like Jane F. Nutt, N-U-T-T, -T, right there. Broken off stone. Got a couple more in here, let's see. This one says just simply E-B-H on it. That may be a foot stone. And 
And this one says, William Fair, born January 31, 1825, and died February 11, 1908. And that looks like it for the Mayfield Cemetery. Don't see any other stones hiding around the trees here. Take a real quick peek and see if I can read any of that small, fine text at the bottom of this one. Nah, I'm sorry, I can't read that. Can't read that, but you can see the rest of it though. Louisa Smith. Louisa Smith, Je wife of T.H. I want to say Squire, S-Q-U-I-E-R, but it looks a little bit longer than that. Squin squiner, squinner? Hmm, I'm not sure. I have to do some research to track down that name. Not a name I'm really familiar with. But there you have the Mayfield Cemetery in the Mayfield Civil War Fort area. It's a beautiful day in Northern Virginia. Have a good day. Maintain your social distancing, of course, and let's get rid of this stupid COVID mess. Let it stop making people sick and dying. Have a great day.